Interpreter timeouts this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and you can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. This time, we're going to be talking about timeouts, interpreter timeouts. Yeah, that kind. So inside of Meterpreter, we're going to actually show you direct, directly in here, sessions-i, or we're going to do sessions, sessions-i, 12, just to interact with one of our sessions that we have open. And to look at our timeouts, the timeouts are actually integral into the Meterpreter sessions. So to get the timeouts that we have, it's simple, get timeouts. Now, there's a bunch of different timeouts in here, including an expiration date. Well, this expiration date says the time that this session will just die. It's going to disconnect. It's not going to do anything else. And this is normally set to a week. Now, one thing to make very certain, some people think that this expiration date is inside of a binary or something like that. It's not. It's that session. So when it connects back to your handler and establishes a new open session, the expiration starts. So if for any reason I have a session that goes for an entire week, which is awesome, I love that, um, it'll start to expire. I can set these with set timeouts. So let's go back, let's go through these before we set anything, what these might do. So the calm timeout is currently set to 300 seconds, five minutes. So if a connection happens, SYNAC, and then the connection is established, then what's, what's really going on is the the transport, the thing that's going back and forth, the information going back and forth when you're issuing commands or, or not doing anything at all, is, is making communications back and forth, like I said. But if that, for whatever reason, gets disrupted, that, that channel's still open, but it gets disrupted, it will attempt to wait for, on the interpreter side, on the window side or whatever the victim is, for five minutes, trying that for five minutes. After that, it disconnects or, or will attempt to um, reconnect after that. So the retry total time is how much time will it will try and reconnect. So currently, or by default, it tries to reconnect for an entire hour. So it will do a sin, synac. If it gets the full TCP handshake going, it'll try for 300 seconds again and then disconnect. That's where the retry wait time comes into play. It will actually wait a full 10 seconds before retrying again. The cool thing about this is that you can set any of these however you wish to be more stealthy, where it retries every, what, 24 hours or something like that. So set timeouts is how we do all of this. So it's very easy. Set timeouts or calm timeout. We're not going to worry about that because we're going to just use the actual um, killing of a interpreter session or killing of a handler to, to simulate this. Set timeouts, and we're going to do the retry total time. Now, right now, we don't have to do that because it's actually going to stay for a full hour. What we're going to do is set our, our wait time to 20 seconds, so a little bit longer. We're actually going to extend this a little bit longer. And this, the timeout is now changed to 20 seconds. We can set our expiration date or our expiration timeout in seconds, dash x. Let's set it to... Nine 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 nine. Keep doing nines. Uh, set timeouts. I can't type. I can't spell. There we go. And it died. The reason why it died is actually because uh, that number is too big. So you can see that it went all the way to twenty fifty four, and it died because of that. So let's go into one of our other sessions. Luckily, we have one. Show time or get timeouts. Sorry, get timeouts. See that those are all nines. So we actually pre-staged some of these so you can see that you can extend this all the way to 2019 and the calm timeout pretty far out, retry total timeout, all of these things pretty big. But the 9999 is actually too big of a number. So you can actually lose sessions if you set it too large. Okay? So that's exactly what a timeout is or get timeouts are and how they work. And we're going to talk a lot more about this in the very next episode with transports and how these effects the diff the affect the different transports because right now we're only using a single transport but more on that later 
So tell me what you think. Email me at msf at hack5.org. Stay tuned to Metasploit Minute for more shows like these. Huge thanks to everyone who's supporting us on Patreon and, and you viewing just on YouTube. All you have to do, click like, support us on Patreon. Every dollar goes towards making this show just for you, and I really am grateful. So until next time, I'm Ubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Welcome to Minnesota Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host Mubix, but you, I'm the host. I'm the host. <laughs>